Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the PyCA Tracer activity, testing connectivity with the trace route. Here is our objectives. In part 1, we will test end to end connectivity with the trace set command. In part 2, compare to the trace route command on a router. We will also go through the background. This activity is designed to help you to troubleshoot network connectivity issues using commands to trace the route from source to destination. Uh, we are required to examine the output of trace route, the Windows command, and trace route, the iOS command, as packets traverse the network and to determine the cause of a network issues. So after the issue is corrected, use the trace route and trace route commands to verify the completion. Right. Well, we will come to uh, the part two one. Test end to end connectivity with the trace route command. In that step one, send a ping from one end of the network to the other end. So click PC1 and open the command prompt ping PC3 at 10.1.0.2. What message is displayed as a result of the ping? Right, we will verify that. Coming to the topology, here we are going to ping from this PC1 to. Uh, here we can see 10.1.0.2 uh, uh, is a PC3. Coming to PC1 command prompt. Right here we will give ping 10.1.0.2. Whoa, here we are getting the message destination host unreachable. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Trace the route from PC1 to determine where in the path connectivity fails. Right. From the command prompt of PC1, enter the tracer 10.1.0.2 command. When you receive the request timed out message, you press Ctrl plus C. What was the first IP address listed in the tracer output? Right. We will verify that. Again, we will come to PC1. Desktop command prompt. Here we are going to give the command tracer 10.1.0.2. Here we can see that. So we got request timed out. Right. Here we can see in this uh, tracer, uh, the first uh, IP address obtained is uh, 10.0.0.254. Uh, this is the default gateway of this PC, PC1. So here we can verify that. Coming to this router A, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Yes, here we can see that. Now we will come to C. Observe the results of the tracer command. What is the last address reached with the tracer command? Right, here we can see that. So we reached 10.100.100.6. Yes, here we can see that. Now we will come to uh, step 3. Correct the network problem. Compare the last address reached with the tracer command with the network addresses listed on the topology. The furthest device from the host 10.0.0.2 with an address in the network range found is the point of failure. Right. What device have addresses configured for the network where the failure occurred? Right. We will cross check that. Coming to the topology, uh, here we can see 10.100.100.4 network that is on the um, uh, network between router B and router C. Here in this tracer, here we can see uh, we got the last IP address 10.100.100.6. So we will come to router B and uh, we'll give a show IP interface brief. And here we can see 
serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 is uh, 10 dot 100 dot 100 dot 5 so obviously 100 dot 6 will be the IP address of this interface on router C we'll verify that show IP interface brief yes here we can see that serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 10 dot 100 dot 100 dot 6 now we will come to uh, B click router C and then the CLI tab what is the status of the interfaces right that also we will verify here we given uh, show IP interface brief command and here we can see serial status is up and uh, protocol also up right and on a serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 is also up now we will come to uh, C compare the IP addresses on the interfaces with the network addresses on the topology does uh, does there appear to be anything extraordinary right here we will check that coming to the topology uh, here we have seen the network it's 100.4 and here it is 100.8 uh, we have seen uh, this interface is 100.6 and here the network address is given is at 10.100.100.8 slash 30 so here the usable IP address are 2 uh, that is 100.9 and 100.10 so either of this IP address should be assigned for this interface uh, this interface is a gigabit sorry serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 we will verify that we will check the IP address of serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we can see that oh yes so here they assign the IP address wrongly here they given 17 now we will come to a D make the necessary changes to restore connectivity however do not change the subnets what is solution yeah obviously we must change the IP address uh, on this interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on uh, router C uh, to 10.100.100.9 slash 30 so we have to correct uh, this interface IP address so before that we have to see the IP address of uh, uh, this interface on router D so we will verify that enable so show IP interface brief and uh, here they used uh, 10.100.100.10 so here we can use the IP address uh, 10.100.100.9 for this interface now we will come to router C right so we will go to configure terminal we'll go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we'll give no IP address and now we'll assign the IP address that's 10.100.100.9 and the submit mask is 255.255.255.252 right now we will come to uh, step 4 verify that uh, end to end connectivity is established from the PC1 command prompt enter the tracer 10.1.0.2 command observe the output from the tracer command was the command successful we will verify that we will come to PC1 command prompt here we are going to give the tracer again yes we are waiting yes here we can see trace completed now we will come to uh, part 2 compare to the trace root command on a router so click router A and then the CLI tab enter the trace root 10.1.0.2 command did the command complete successfully right we will verify that uh, coming to router A yes so here we are going to give the command enable here we are going to give a trace root 10.1.0.2 yes here also we succeed now we will come to see compare the output from the router trace root command with the PC tracer command what is noticeably different about the list of addresses returned right we will check that here is our router A PC1 
we will match it here we can see right so here we can see total uh, uh, five IP addresses uh, coming to the router here we can see only four addresses yes because the router has one less IP address because it will be using router B as the next device along the path now we will come to uh, part 3 using extended trace route in addition to trace route Cisco IOS also includes extended trace route Extended trace route allows the administrator to adjust minor trace route operation parameters by asking simple questions. As part of the verification process, uh, use extended trace route on router A to increase the number of ICMP packets trace route sent to each hop. So, Windows Tracer also allows the user to adjust a few aspects through the use of uh, command line options. Right, well. So click router A and then the CLI tab, enter the trace route and press enter. Notice that just the trace route command should be entered. Right. So answer the questions asked by extended trace route as follows. Extended trace route should run right after the last question is answered. Here we can see that the protocol we have to give IP. Target IP address is 10.1.0.2 source address is 10.100.100.1 numeric display we have to give n timeout in seconds 3 probe count 5 minimum time to leave 1 maximum time to leave 30 right so here they given a note the value displayed in the bracket is the default value and will be used by trace route if no value is entered simply press enter to use the default value right so here we can see that in bracket they given this is the default value uh, once we press enter without giving any value now we will come to router a yes here it is here we are going to give trace route now here we can see protocol uh, we, we can give IP the target IP address so we have to specify 10.1.0.2 and the source address it's 10.100.100.1 and the numeric display we have to give in and timeout in seconds 3 probe count they mentioned 5 minimum time to leave it's 1 and the maximum time to leave 30 right now we can see that yes now we will come to how many questions were answered with the known default values what was the new value here we can see that I think we given only one here the same same yes only prop count by default it's three but we given five yes next is so how many ICMP packets were sent by router A yes here we can see that uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 yes so it's 5 here they are given a note about probe count uh, so it specifies the number of ICMB packets sent to each hop by trace route a higher number of probes allows for a more accurate average round trip time for the packets right now we will come to uh, D. Still on router A, run extended trace route again, but this time change the timeout value to 7 seconds. Right, we will do that. Here is our trace route command IP. Here we have to give a 10 dot, it's 1 dot, oops, 0 dot 2. Right, and the source address is a 10 dot, 100 dot, 100 dot 1 here we are going to give n here we are going to change the timeout uh, in seconds uh, specified 7 ok prop count uh, 5 minimum time 1 and here is 30 right yes now here what happened how does the different timeout value affect trace route yes so the timeout parameter informs trace route how long it should wait for a replay 
before declaring the hop unreachable. The default value is 3 seconds. And here we can see our final question. Uh, can you think of a use for the timeout parameter? So if the path is uh, too congested but still operational, it can be useful to change the timeout value to ensure trace route waits long enough before declaring the hop unreachable. Yes, so that's all in this Pika Tracer activity, testing connectivity with the trace route. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get the latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.